this okay so after the glue is dry up so now it's ready to put the uh, the servo rods uh, mounting so the first part of this the two rods are identical so you can use either one of this on uh, on the two side of the servo so what you need to do is um, go into the last portion of the arms and then poke into the hole and then and then try to twist it a little bit. Now be very careful because this is uh, if you are not very careful you can able to break these arms. So make it slowly twist it so you can able to um, to swing around the uh, the hole. So now you can able to join the arms with these uh, servo rods, pushing rods. Now uh, mounting on the other end of the um, bottom is uh, is a stabilizer. Uh, that's your elevators. Uh, control. So you want it to have this open up this little um, holders. So once it's, it's it's open, so you you can able to adjust it. Now what you want to um, see right now is you want it to make it ninety degree from this arms to the servo uh, rods. So this has to be as precise as you can, um, 90 degree forming, and then all the way out to here, and then this also needs to form a 90 degree as well. That's why if this if this is a little too long, you can actually uh, wind it uh, clockwise to make it uh, shorter. It seems like I'm 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 having a little longer than I than it come in factory, so I'm gonna wind this. So now it looks um, not too bad, a little bit more. So you want to hold grip tight on the, on this side and then and then and then wind this uh, portion of the rods. So now it seems uh, uh, cl very close to uh, perpendiculars. So I'm, I'm going to open up the uh, holders on this end and insert into the uh, the last hole of the uh, the little arm right here. Now be very gentle because you could bend and break it if you are not careful. Now you can see 90 degree here and 90 degree here. So that's how you form the uh, the rod into the stabilizer side. On, uh, with the servo rods. You do this to the other end as well. So hold on to the arms and then put into the first the last hole of the uh, of the arms and twist it uh, and wiggle it a, a little bit. Now you are in to this side. So you want this side to be perpendicular as well and then this also link to the other holders and the arms together and let me see this is already perpendicular so I don't really need to twist this side so let's put this into the last hole and lock it yeah before, um, be also um, you need to lock the two holder together so now that's how you mount the rods to the uh, air pants to the tail.